hello if anyone is um, on the live stream please let me know but you can see me uh, I tried starting on uh, on the laptop but I think cell phone is gonna work better uh, please chat with me on the comment only then I'll know who is online oops and give me just a minute okay ram you're online so give me one second because i was hoping to do this from my laptop but it did not work out okay very good very good thank you so much for letting me know who's online can just bear with me just one second okay yay thank you thank you good job yes so um I have I have some thoughts Ram that I'm going to share Ram's um, and immunity and anxiety very good so I'll start off with a few thoughts that I have and then um, um, I'm going to open it up for um, interaction uh, let me know if you can see me and hear me well all right and accordingly I will um, it just at my end okay can you see me okay can you hear me okay can you can you see me and hear me okay and is if the camera is too up close that also you let me know uh, because I want to make sure I'm not in your face can you hear me all sorry i had to set it up very quickly on the cell phone just let me okay good you can all hear me very good very good so uh okay someone is saying they can't see me uh they can't see me just one second um okay just one second i want to make sure this person um gets the uh Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. Hmm. So, good evening. Namaste, everyone. How are you all doing? Just say a quick hello. And if you're doing okay, let me know. You can type in the chat box if you like. Are you all able to hear me? Let me hear from at least one person so that I know that you are able to hear me. Are you all doing okay? Just say yes. I just want to hear one yes, then I'll proceed. This you can chat in because I don't think you can um, you can talk to me um, in audio. Just say yes in the chat box. Ram, are you able to hear me? Ram, Anuradha, Siti Narayan, if you can hear me, please let me know how you're doing. You're doing okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so 
Welcome to the first ever live session from my Airway page. Um, I usually am not so um, into camera and you know videos and uh, Facebook lives for myself but uh, uh, I had been receiving some requests and I wanted to make sure that I'm able to reach out to uh, you know everybody who is uh, interested in Ayurved who follows my Ayurved who follows Ayurved so first of all uh, this is a check-in um, call you can say um, I'm using technology to check in with all of you and I'm hoping everyone is doing all right and holding it up in in these unprecedented times so uh, first of all, my namaste, my hello, um, my love, my blessings, my prayers, um, everything uh, for all of you. Uh, please reach out to me anytime for anything you need and I will try to help in the best way possible. Um, you can reach me on Facebook uh, on the My Ayurved page where we are streaming live right now. Uh, you can email me at pratibha at myayurved.org. It is my Ayurved, not uh, Ayurveda. And um, hey, Dicky. And um, um, okay, very good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anuradha. Uh, so reach out anytime. I think we are all uh, being. Hi, Terry. Oh, hi. Hello. So, yeah, we are all, you know, being tested on many levels um, in these trying times. And uh, I just wanted to reach out and say hello and, um, you know, share a few things and um, get this uh, sort of uh, connect and share um you know sessions started and see how it goes today and if you all find it useful um, you know I'm happy to do it once a week twice a week so so make sure you comment uh, you reach out to me via messenger or email as I said pratibha at myayurved.org and let me know I'm happy to hold these sessions as much needed um, so welcome once again um, uh, this is uh, not a way, this is not, um, I'm going to try not to keep it a too structured session. I have a few points that I have made that I would like to share with all of you. Um, and after that, I just want to open it up to hearing from you, you know, what are some of your questions, what are some of your challenges and concerns and, you know, uh, I will try to answer them as best possible. So uh, some of you probably may not know me. You may be following just my page. Um, I'm Pratibha Shah. My maiden name is Bhatnagar. So Pratibha Shah, but Pratibha Bhatnagar. Um, I have an MD in Ayurveda from back in India. And I have been practicing Ayurveda for close to 30 years. Uh, my website is myayurved.org and you can check more details over there. Uh, so some of the things that I would like to share with you today are going to be more um, of a simple nature, more practical. Um, I'm not going to make this too academic. Um, so here are some of the points that I have written. Now, um, if you like, you can make a few notes or, uh, you know, these sessions usually get recorded. Um, you can watch them later, anytime, if you wish to. Um, but uh, I personally like to play with letters and, you know, um, you know, something that's easy to remember. So today I have made a few points starting with P, you know, my name starts with P and I have made some simple, easy points for you to remember starting with P. Okay. So we are going to use the P formula today. Okay. So first of all, um, I want to introduce Ayurveda to you for those of you who may not know much about Ayurveda. Um, Ayurveda, if I were to give like an elevator pitch, I would say Ayurveda is about three P's. Okay. 
again the P formula. Uh, the three T's of Ayurveda are prevention, promotion and personalization. Okay, so prevention, promotion, personalization. And uh, today I will not go um, too deep into these three, but essentially prevention here means primary prevention, means things that actually help you fight uh, strongly with diseases. Not the secondary prevention that we see in the mainstream healthcare, uh, which is mostly screening. Okay, so when your when the disease is caught at the time of screening, what is done at that time is secondary prevention. Primary prevention is the things that you do in order not to get a disease. So that is uh, really very integral to Ayurveda, very important part of Ayurveda, where a uh, lot of preventative practices have been um, described in detail um, about self-care, daily practices, seasonal practices, uh, practices during transitions of our lives, um, such as in you know menopause and um, aging, conception, postpartum, etc. So. Prevention is a huge part and maybe next time if if there is enough interest, I'm happy to talk about that or any other topics that you might be interested in. Promotion is primarily those practices where whatever health you have, you're not only um, maintaining it through preventative practices, but you're also protecting, preserving and promoting it, building on it. So if you have X health, how can you make it 2x, x square, etc. So those practices are also very important and they are again very unique to Ayurveda. Um, uh, there is a category of formulations in Ayurveda that are called Rasayana. Rasayana are tissue building herbs and formulations. So that is one thing. And personalization, um, as some of you may already know that Ayurveda is the mother of personalized medicine. Uh, about 5,000 years ago, uh, Ayurveda has already mentioned personalization and has recognized that each one of us is unique. And um, uh, Ayurveda has a set protocol uh, to analyze and assess each one's unique body type. And therefore, all of the recommendations can be personalized and customized to that uniqueness in the person. So these are, this is like a very brief introduction to what Ayurveda is, okay? Prevention, promotion, personalization. Remember these three P's. So today, in reference to the current crisis that we are all in, there are three P's again that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, rather, I want to convey some easy, practical um, tips, guidelines on uh, which will impact you or benefit you on three levels of our existence. So one is physical level, second is physiological level and third is psychological level. Again three P's so we are going to play around with the P formula today. Okay. So physical, physiological and psychological. The, our entire being is in these three planes, if you all uh, know what I'm saying. Our physical being, our physiological being and our psychological being. So um, let's take them one by one and see what are some of the things that we can do for achieving health on all these three levels of existence. Okay. So on the physical level, so what are some of the things we can do? So, so one thing we can do is play. Okay, in these times, especially, and again, I'm talking in special reference to these times. So first thing I want to mention is that for uh, preserving as well as protecting your physical health and also promoting, you know, building on it. One of the things we can do is play. So play means, what What does play mean here? Well, play means you can do physical playing, which could be, uh, you know, 
anything that your living circumstances allow. You know, if you have a basketball hoop, you can do that. If you have a hula hoop, you can do that. Basically, use the resources, the opportunities, the options available to you and play. You know, whether it's board games, so board games will also help you in psychological health. And most importantly, allow yourself to be silly. So when you're silly, anything can become a play. Okay. Basically, um, I think what I'm trying to convey here is that one of the biggest challenge of these times is stress. So if you can play and be silly, then you are able to mitigate the stress without getting too technical and too heavy on, you know, which uh, course can I take or which meditation class can I attend? These two things are available to you at any time. You can be silly at any time. I think uh, a lot of you, if you are on social media, you might be seeing a lot of, um, you know, silly videos. People are doing all silly stuff at home. Uh, Though that is what I'm indicating that let your walls down. This is really a good time to let your walls down. So play, play as much as possible, um, which can apply to physical playing or mental playing. Um, but overall, the bottom line is let your walls down at this time. And that's going to ease away a lot of the stress and anxiety that this crisis is bringing. Uh, just let the walls down okay and play second p in the physical uh, health i want to mention is pace so pace means what i'm trying to stay say here is um, anything to get you to move a little bit because that's the second very um, you know um, real challenge that these times are forcing on us stress is one and sedentary habits is um, one of the other main uh, challenges of these times so how can you break that cycle of being sedentary is move pace wherever you are it doesn't matter maybe you live in a condo maybe you live in a an apartment complex um, you can find space to pace Okay, so I would say pace um, and I have written the word pace just to match my P formula. I mean, you can write down stroll or just, you know, walk. Um, if nothing, if you have steps, if, whether it's in the apartment or the, um, you know, condo complex, go up and down the steps. That will give you some cardio. So some kind of physical activity. If you have other structured ways, well and good. But if you do not, you know, you, a lot of things we are not dependent on, uh, on external resources. And these times are teaching us more and more uh, how much we have available to us, even without the external resources. So I would say whatever space is available in your life, uh, make time and um, make a space to pace. Okay, so that's as far as the physical part because I'm not going to dwell too deeply on that. Then I wanted to talk about the physiological part, and in the physiological part, I think I have the, my most important message that in this time, uh, what we have in our control is our choices at this time that is the biggest thing we have in our control at this time and what i mean is um, when we are exposed to the environment you know we are part of the animal kingdom and human species are just one of the many species that are out there over the course of time the human species have become uh, sadly unfortunately arrogant egoistic um, we have become the bullies of the animal kingdom and now that nature has forced us to retreat to vacate the space that we have forcefully occupied of you know that used to be the terrain the natural habitat of so many other animal species we are beginning to see 
um, that other species are beginning to breathe, other species are beginning to uh, thrive, beginning to even come out, beginning to uh, venture out and, and, and uh, be in the space that belongs to them as well. So we have coexisted with other species for eons. And as part of being, um, you know, as being part of the animal kingdom, um, there is a natural um, competition for resources. There is, you know, uh, a daily um, sort of war, you can say, between us and other species, that, which is natural. Um, every species has this tendency to um, increase its own type in the universe. So same goes for all the microbes that are out there, the viruses, the bacteria, and it is natural for them to try and invade us. So on any given day, we, you know, our body, you know, what is it in our body that is helping us thrive um, against these daily wars? It's our immunity, okay? So immunity is something that we have control on at this time. Um, again, immunity can be innate and acquired. Innate immunity, there's not much we can do at this time, but acquired immunity is something we can... Uh, now, this is an important point that I want to make, that you cannot build your immunity overnight. That's a, that's a very important thing to understand. But having said that, there are still many things we can do to not disrupt the immunity that we have at this point. Okay, At this point, whatever immunity we have, X, Y, Z, how can we protect and preserve that and then promote it? slowly so again the protect preserve promote keeps coming okay so this is an, a very very important point i want to make our immunity is what we have in our control and we got to hold it like gold at this time and protect it preserve it and promote it so the first most important part about immunity is how can we protect it now i'm going to digress a little bit and talk about you know what are some of the components of immunity so one of the most important components of immunity is our gut health okay ayurveda has recognized this for eons um, modern medicine is now beginning to understand and appreciate the role of gut in our overall immunity okay gut and metabolism so in ayurveda we always say we are you are not just what you eat you are actually what you digest okay you can eat the best organic clean nutritious foods but if your processor if your metabolism is weak if your gut is, gut mechanism is weak you will not be able to reap the benefits of it so that's a very important thing take away i would like you to take away today so just like, uh, thank you Laksh for tuning in from India. <laughs> so um, one of the very important takeaways I would like to give you today is that, okay, let's do one thing. At this time when I'm talking, place your hand on your gut, left, right, whichever hand you like, place it on your gut. And let me know, any one or two people let me know, have you placed it on your gut? Just let me know so that I know that um, I'm being heard and understood. Any one person let me know, have you placed your hand on your gut? I'm waiting to hear just from one or two people. Anyone, one person say yes and I will know that, um, you know, your thank you Anuradha thank you okay so so one of the things you will realize immediately that gut is actually in the center of your physical body 
try and appreciate that spend at least a couple seconds to appreciate that that it's right at the center of your physical being yes hi mani hi daniel so uh, and now i want you to let your hand remain on your gut and now appreciate the fact allow the wonderment that your gut is actually also in the center of your physiological being okay nothing matters more as far as your physiological processing is concerned than your gut everything that you can think of the liver the pancreas the duodenum the bile juice the pancreatic juice the gastric juice the hydrochloric acid everything is happening in that box that's in your gut okay this is a very important thing i want you to i want you to visualize and and appreciate this okay so gut is at the center of your physical being and now i'm telling you gut is at the center of your physiological being i think this is easy to understand now the third thing that i'm going to tell you is going to be probably uh, a thing of amazement for you but hey gut is also at the center of your psychological being okay now i want to start this part of conveying this to you by saying how many of you have said in your life i have a gut feeling how many of you have said that anybody has said that just one yes or no let me know how many of you any time in your life have said i have a gut feeling okay i i know you guys are listening to me so it's okay if you're not able to type at this time but um we have all said this at some point in our life that my gut feeling says uh, you know so actually gut is at the center of your psychological being hi kajal so one thing hey sudha one thing i really want you to um assimilate today and appreciate today later on chew on it dwell on it and understand it very deeply that more and more even the modern science is um understanding and appreciating that gut you know you must have heard this somewhere that gut is the second brain of the body okay now ayurveda said this 5000 years ago okay everything is centered around gut your entire being is around your gut gut is your most alive part in your entire being okay why because that's where your microbiome is okay we know this word now most of us know this word now microbiome is your um, your population of good and bad, bad bacteria um, in a certain proportion in the right proportion in the gut okay now i would like to go one step forward and say gut is your primary brain okay gut is your primary brain okay this guy this guy that we say this is the chief you know this is the master organ etc this guy is actually always listening to the gut okay this guy is you know every time every few minutes it will say hey chief what's going on what should i tell the thyroid what should i tell the pancreas okay so this guy is just following orders this guy guy is not the primary brain the gut is the primary brain okay so now that i have hopefully conveyed how important your gut is in your entire being um you know your gut health determines whether you're healthy or you're sick okay so now let's come back to discussing what can we do to protect the gut and preserve the gut and promote the gut now i'm going to use another word which you may not have heard so far um gut is the more uh, familiar word so i was using that but now i want you to retain one more new word it's called agni okay agni is a sanskrit word agni means fire and um, you know we all cook our food on stove top gas stove right so we know that fire cooks so our cooking fire is in our gut okay visualize a fire in your gut okay and every day when you're eating that fire cooks the food and when your fire is low what happens the food does not get cooked properly you do not get the energy 
that you were supposed to get from the food and you also get unfinished uncooked material which the body is not able to utilize which um, there is a term in ayurveda but i won't say it today uh, but those become the toxins in the body so now you see where we are going with this your agni your processor is important for your energy level for not creating or creating toxins if it is low and third for your immunity this is a well known fact as of today um, that your immunity comes from your gut that is where all the recognition of this is me this is other i need to i need to destroy this because this is not me this is an outsider that intelligence comes from the gut and you know what happens in autoimmune diseases if you look up triad of autoimmune diseases you can look this up triad of autoimmune diseases gut health gut dysbiosis is one of the triads of uh, autoimmune diseases so autoimmune diseases where the body loses the intelligence of what is self and what is the other you know all these things come from gut so now i hope i have set the stage for how important um, our gut health is in um determining what kind of immunity we have now having said that again i'll come back to innate immunity and acquired immunity innate immunity we cannot control it at this time because that's what we are born with but acquired immunity we can continue to choose to lose it or build on it okay so some of the things and you can write this um we can do not to destroy um, whatever immunity we have acquired so far um we have to hold on to it we cannot become x minus 1 at this time right we cannot become x minus 2 at this time x divided by 2 at this time we cannot afford to do that covid 19 is still being under, understood okay we don't it's a novel virus we ha, we have not yet understood how it behaves there is even dilemma about um the kind of pathology it is creating acute respiratory stress disorder or not or is it pneumonia is it something else there are there's so much information floating around so we still don't know but what we know our immunity helps so why not focus on what we know right and hopefully today you will learn a few more new things so one of the things we can do to protect our agni okay is remove iced drinks ice drinks are one of the first things there's a long list of things you can do to um protect the health of the agni but one of the i want to talk about easy things today so if you are having ice drinks either minimize them um significantly or eliminate them because when you go to cook your food on the stove top on the gas top you don't start you don't begin by dousing it with cold water or water as such so while we need to um hydrate while while we need to make sure we are fully hydrated over uh, drinking of water is also not uh, advisable so one of the takeaways i want to give you is remove the ice drinks and start warm water very very important at this time and i can expand on this in some of the future sessions but definitely i want to give this away today so protect your agni and your immunity will be protected so remember the visual of agni in your gut and automatically if you are if you are lovingly protecting just like a child you know protecting preserving and and promoting your agni uh, we also promote the agni right sometimes we 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 if you are cooking something on the grill you know you feed it with some twigs and some oils you know um, we ignite it so even igniting is very important the spices help in igniting it okay so some of the spices that help ignite agni are uh, ginger 
cumin, uh, turmeric, black pepper. These four if you can integrate. Okay, let's go over it again. Cumin, ginger, black pepper, turmeric. Okay, there are so many others. You can have ajwain carom seeds. You can have um, the, uh, this is called uh, the kalonji, you know, the black, um, uh, these are onion seeds. Uh, those also, so there are so many. In Ayurveda, we have so many spices, the cinnamon, the star anise, um, some of the western spices such as thyme, uh, etc. They, oregano, they all help in, igniting the agni slowly but remember <clears throat> agni is hot and it gets built with warming things warming and warming and heating not hot hot like don't start eating a lot of jalapenos and all that because when the agni is too hot your food gets burnt right and that is also not useful so while we don't want to undercook we don't want to overcook either so make sure um, you are right in the middle there can be some flexibility but try to be at the right point so one of the things i would recommend for that is when you wake up in the morning ayurveda says that the first shloka in most of the ayurvedic classics starts with brahme murte uttishthe means wake up um, early in the morning before the sunrise um, that part i will let go at this time because you know that's one of the things i want to say that just chill be relaxed don't be too stressed about discipline but the second line says jirna jirna nirupayan means sit down in peace for a minute and scan your body mentally you know how my organs doing how's my digestion how's everything it's like you know you check your appliances every now and then you know you check your cell phone are there any updates right so you should scan yourself in the morning that's called self-care that's called introspection okay so first thing in the morning when you wake up jirna jirna nirupi and sit down and see how am i doing today you know and remember oxygen mask for you first especially to all the women because they forget to take care of themselves so first take care of your oxygen mask and then pass on to anybody else it's a very important message so self-scanning mental scanning how am i doing how are my organs doing how's my digestion doing etc etc and um, then you start your day so every day can be different right especially now you know we are some day you're sleeping late some days you know uh, anxiety did not allow you to sleep some days you were just watching something so it's a very unstructured time and i that is the third thing now i want to come to the psychological part because I also want to keep it open for interaction. I just want to make sure I'm not speaking at you. Um, some of the things, again, we'll go back to the P uh, game, P formula. Pray. Um, make sure you have time to pray. Um, and this is not being said in a religious way. I'm a non-religious person. I'm a spiritual person. Um, if prayer is your spirituality, so be it. But if you're not a religious person just pray in the sense that um, acknowledge everything that's out there acknowledge how much you have acknowledge what so many others don't have uh, you can see my hair is going out growing out of control right now right so I, for some time i've had short hair i'm enjoying this you know a lot of people are getting stressed i've not had a hairdresser and you know you're getting stressed about it i find the reason to be grateful you know i have a head full of hair probably a lot of hair at this time but um i mean that's just a very random example but you know every time you feel you have a problem spin it on its head and think about you have a problem because you probably have something to have a problem with okay this is a very important uh, point i want to make um, again uh, dwell on it and you'll be hopefully able to appreciate what I'm saying that everything that comes across as a problem, even, uh, you know, some, uh, some moms have complained a lot, you know, kids are at home, it's so tough. How about we spin it and think about, we have kids, how blessed are we? You know, there are so many others out there who are really praying and trying hard to have children. So, 
everything can be spent on its head everything so that's my attitude attitude of gratitude actually um, and that's something I would like to pass on so this is a very good time to practice gratitude and um, other piece I wanted to mention is patience uh, peace um, enjoy the peace that these times are bringing in I know some houses are chaotic because of younger kids but um, find that time find those moments of peace for yourself um, because stress is uh, an enemy of immunity and we don't want it to remain so peace gratitude 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 write it write write your yes write your blessings if it helps but please um, practice gratitude it's immense it's immense um, you know suddenly you start feeling different suddenly you start stop feeling deprived suddenly you start feeling privileged another another p okay think about how privileged we are even having this session means we have smartphones okay we have phones so many people don't have phones so everything has to be spun around and i really want to convey that and then last but not the least this is the last p that i want to mention then i'll just summarize and then we'll open to interaction um last piece permission what does this mean well permission to not be perfect at this time again hair example or any other example you're not getting you know dressed up every day um you got angry you got irritated you shouted it's okay allow yourself you know these are very um new ways of living and allow yourself to be human it's okay but then apologize if if you have been not so good not so nice verbally emotionally any which way uh, so allow permission not to be perfect permi permission not to look perfect and permission um, to be kind and to yourself and others and to be non-judgmental about yourself and others so this this is the time actually to let down to expand to open to broaden up uh, to accommodate these new circumstances these new ways of living um, we have so much to be thankful for we are alive we are in protected spaces unlike the frontliners we are not homeless we are not in uh, some um, you know retaining facilities um, our loved ones are hopefully all with us even if we have one loved one with us you know so much to be grateful for so i think make a list of gratitude make a list of blessings you know whether it's um, on your laptop on your smart device on on pen and paper you know new things you know bring in new things um, um like um you know if you haven't written with pen and paper try that you know so new things will take your mind off uh, these are new ways uh, and simple ways of um, busting stress i'm not going to say do this meditation it's not about doing it this time it's allowing the being so being versus doing is is what i want to convey and um so just to summarize everything, I think those are the main things I wanted to say. Just to summarize that, take it easy. You know, it's okay. Um, you know, I want you to visualize that, you know, when we are driving, sometimes we go off of our lane. It's okay to go off of the lane, you know, sometimes. But as long as you remember to come back into the lane, that is what is important. So that goes for your eating, you know, maybe one day, you eat junk food you eat too many candies it's all right don't beat yourself about it but if you can make up for it in your next meals in your next opportunity it is fine it's okay if you ended up shouting it's okay it doesn't make you the most evil person on the face of the earth it's fine you're just being human allow yourself that let it come but let it go and, and uh, as long as you acknowledge it, recognize it, it is fine. So that's what I want to end with. It's fine. 
and um, everything is well and there's something i want to read for all of you so give me one second i have written it somewhere and after that i can you know take some questions as well so i'm going to read this it's really nice um i thought it's going to be apt to end with okay so yes things are inconvenient yes things are chaotic yes kids are at home yes 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 but you know what else is a yes yes to quiet yes to stillness yes to self reflection and growth yes to being in connection yes to healthy eating and exercising we never used to get the time right yes to creativity um uh, yes to decluttering and organizing so much time now right yes to finishing all the to do lists yes to reaching out and catching up with all technology yes to meditating yes to all things we never had time for before and the earth is also saying yes the earth is saying yes to the reprieve to no cars on the road to less garbage in the oceans to less waste in the landfills to less pollution from the factories to fewer accidents and car carnage so these are some of the things i want you to take away and the list can be so long right you can have your own list and it will give you a sense of wonderment um and self reflection that you know there is always a good takeaway from the worst of situations so spin it spin it positively spin it positively at all times this is um in fact a great time for that um thank you thank you this is actually a great time a great opportunity that nature has provided mm -hmm. uh, which we have not had uh, for so long uh for uh, you know especially in the west uh, this this mad race the mad run that we are all in this is such an amazing opportunity to connect with our loved ones to actually look at their faces to look at their you know nuances so all in all i would not say this is crisis this is a beautiful time for all of us uh let's let's mm -hmm. let's um you know spin it positively every moment every day and uh post the crisis let's commit to let you know letting this beauty remain in our lives um so with that i really want to open up to hearing um some of your comments and if you have any questions and uh ram you had asked me so i'll ask, start with your um question um Ram I would say you and I have been uh thanks Kajal so Ram you and I have been in touch separately as well um what i would like mm -hmm. to ask you on this platform is um uh, uh belly breathing so belly breathing is extremely powerful and yet very simple so Ram you can do it right now as we are talking and anybody else you know if you if you've been feeling anxious or stressed um as i'm explaining the belly breath you can do it um so with the inhalation um uh, experience your lungs expanding and your belly coming out so your diaphragm will be moving downwards diaphragm is the muscle between your chest and the abdomen so imagine your diaphragm moving downward and your belly coming out all softly gently and then slowly exhale and at this time feel your belly coming in slowly and the diaphragm rising and the chest compressing to let the carbon dioxide out and if you do it even 3 4 5 times you will see immediately an experience of calming and relaxation and the beauty is that this can be done anywhere anytime even if you're showering driving doing anything this can be done anywhere anytime so belly breathing is something i would like you to try maybe that's one of the other takeaways from this session 
but uh, other than that i would love to hear from everybody else and would you like another session like this uh, let me know this is again the very first time i'm doing it and this was again based on several requests over a period of time i i thought okay let me go ahead and do it and um, if you have found it useful you can comment now or on the facebook page or you can reach me at pratibha at my ayurved.org that's my email my ayurved.org pratibha at my ayurved.org so uh, i can end the session now if um, if you uh, feel you have no questions at this time but uh, i at least once a week i will be doing this but if you have any other suggestions um Thank you, Anuradha, for sharing it and for doing a watch party. I'm hoping this has reached more people. Um, and I'm happy to take specific topics as well. Today was again day one. So just uh, general information. I hope you found it useful. Um, but let me know. I'm happy to cover any specific topics as well. Uh, Ruth, uh, you can listen to it. Um, um, you just send me a message um, and I'll send you because Facebook Live does get saved. So I can send you the session again. Sure, Kajal, definitely. So with that, um, I think um, um, I'm going to say Namaste. Uh, please practice Namaste. No shake hands. And... Um, even a few of these things, if you can dwell on and integrate even one, two, three, whatever you think has touched your heart today, um, it would be lovely. Yeah, um, I would think that, you know, my purpose of doing this session has been achieved. So namaste, God bless, lots of love, hugs, virtual hugs uh, and, you know, love. I didn't talk about love, but. Please feel the love, feel the love, give the love. And first of all, give yourself a lot of love. Women don't do that. I'm going to say this again. Do give yourself a lot of love. Self-hug, please. Um, and stay blessed, stay safe, stay protected and protect your Agni and you'll be fine. You'll all be fine. Many blessings your way. And until next time, stay tuned to my Ayurveda Facebook page and I'll be with you very soon. Thank you so much. Good night.